and I'm Tim, we're from Holy Holy and you're watching Mosh Cam. Yeah, we'll, we'll be doing our first um, headline show in WA. Um, we're heading over there next week with Boy and Bear. But yeah, we'll be heading back over to do our first headline show, so that'll be exciting. But I mean, all, all the headline shows um, are, are fun and exciting and, and looking forward to all of them. Um, you know, we're, we're doing a few regionals this time that we haven't done before. We're doing Wollongong and Dunsborough and yeah, so we're getting out a little bit more outside of like just Sydney, Brisbane, Melbourne, so it's going to be good. Yeah, we've got a song called You Cannot Call For Love Like A Dog, um, which is actually quite an old song that um, we just reworked recently when we were in the studio. We were kind of like, mm, let's have another look at this one and see what we can do, and we kind of stumbled upon a new arrangement that is really fun and has a really great outro that sort of plays to all our strengths and we've been we've been quite last night at the opera house we closed with it and we've said so that's that's really fun yeah one thing that's started happening on this tour which we haven't done much before is like we've been bringing guitars into the green room and you know like um, 20 minutes before we kind of start playing to the songs and and we all sing together and and i'm finding that to be really good both for warming up our like our hands and our voices but also just getting in the space and coming together as a band and i think that's something that is really useful and that i recommend for, for other bands but i mean when you're playing like club shows where you know where there's no like green room and you know it's it's sometimes not as easy but yeah, and there's a, I mean, there's a bunch of other things like, you know, I, I, I don't like to eat like from lunchtime on the day of the show. I don't usually eat. And I don't know how he does that. Mm. I, I like get aggravatedly low blood sugary. I like to be like really lean, like really kind of lean and kind of like wear, like wary and stuff when I sing. I don't like being like full and like, oh, I'm going to change. That makes sense. Could you just I just had a burger and chips. How are you going? <laughs> like, like, I feel like I'm going to be like awake. <laughs> and um, and then after the show, I'm ravenous, and then I go and try and hunt down some food. Um, and we in Brisbane, we were doing a thing for a while. We both, Oscar and I both like to swim, like laps. That's a nice thing to do before a gig, like in the afternoon, like stretch out and and you know get get out get out of the headspace and and do some sort of exercise, and then come in and do the show. It's good to keep some energy in the tank. One thing that's bad to do before a show is work all day. If you work all day and then get to the show, it can be hard to kind of give anything more, you know? Well, I mean, I'm from, so I'm from Melbourne, Tim's from Brisbane. Um, I do enjoy coming home. I mean, sometimes when you are on tour and you're playing in live venues, sort of for a few nights in a row, you come home and you don't want to go to another live venue. I enjoy just being at home and, and, and sort of relaxing and, um, watching The Sopranos or something like that, for Christ's sake. Um, but, um, yeah, I sort of do a few things. Got my little studio space in Melbourne. I quite enjoy spending time in there, whether it's working on music or listening or playing guitar or whatever. But that's kind of, even though it's still music, it's somehow relaxing, you know? To come away from tour and still be just doing more music. Mm, yeah, at the moment, like, we've been touring pretty solidly and um, we've got two more tours on the back of this tour, like, all connecting up. So time at home is definitely valuable. And for me, it's like, yeah, it's, all, it's about kind of like eating well and not drinking and, um, you know, seeing family and friends and that kind of thing. Because, you know, when you're on the road, like every weekend for three months, you kind of miss a lot of things and miss people and miss events and stuff, which is cool. I mean, I'm, I, I love it, so it's, it's no problem. But when I'm home, it's like, you know, family time and, and um, recuperating and, and working and, and working on this, you know, our other projects that we do outside of the band. Last, last night there was a freaking Steinway piano mm -hmm. in our dress. We that were playing nice. in the Opera House last night and there, was, there wasn't just a piano, it was a Steinway baby grand piano, which, mm -hmm. I mean, they're somewhere between one and two hundred thousand dollars a pop and it was in our dressing room. That was, that was nice. Beautiful, and that was nice to But I mean, so. I'd be like, I'd be like rocking through like, you know, all kinds of like cheeses and, and foods <laughs> and shiatsu massage and saunas, um, maybe some like, yep, lovely alcohol and cigars and instruments. I'd be kind of just going the full hedonistic kind of suite. Yeah. And then moving into various other kind of classes and so on. I wouldn't mind, yeah, I wouldn't mind a, a 50 meter 
sort of 50 meter by one meter, so single lane lap ball, to just go up. Hey, that's up nice. The yeah. And a smoothie, maybe like a little yeah, no, vegetable like a, smoothie. A wheatgrass shot. That'd be nice. Like that, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll be in one room smoking cigars. He's going to be out there eating <laughs> and, and like eating freaking fondue. Um, <laughs> He's going to be doing laps and that doing, wheat doing wheatgrass. And having wheatgrass and <laughs> going on the stage and falling asleep. So. Well, at the moment, it's a six pack of Coopers and a bottle of red wine, is what we get. <laughs> Which we, yeah. Yeah. Which we drink before we go on. <laughs> <laughs> and then sit, sit backstage going, right, well, that's it. <laughs> what are we going to do now? <laughs> so. For more of this, subscribe here.